shots to the outside and it's just the one though. So. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It, it was it was really good the way our, our team moved everyone out of the way kind of because um, obviously before we, we pre-scout the other team and one of their big things this year was that they were like shooting through screens and trying to tip puck so that was the big thing to like get them to the outside and mm -hmm. I think we did a really good job with that. I want to ask like, the mental preparation for this game, you know, when you were facing Czechia, back-to-back -back bronze medalist, like, how do you prepare mentally for that? Um, I think just the same way I do against everyone, honestly. That, like, yes, um, we know that they're a really good team. Um, we obviously respect that. And um, obviously, there's no there's no doubt that they have really skilled players, but I, it's kind of the same for every every um, other game as well. And, um, I think it might even be like a little bit more of a motivation that like knowing that they're so such a good team. This feels like a team that's kind of ready to be done with the group B. Do you think that this team is ready to kind of become one of those teams that's always competing for or just in group A? Oh yeah, 100%. I think the last, the last two years especially, like last year our game against the U.S., we showed that we can hang with them <laughs> at least to some extent and then obviously today uh, with Czech being, being third in the world by now, um, we showed them that we can play like right along with them and so obviously our, our goal is to like get out of the group A, out of group B and make it into the group A and I think we're on a good way for that. Was there a message um, in, in during the intermissions from the coaching staff as far as, as far as kind of you know what the what the plan is going forward or how maybe adjustments were being made because it was so close? Um, yeah, I think we, we just wanted to trust the trust the process kind of. Um, he, our coach was saying that in every game so far we have been getting better throughout the, the game. Like as, like I just said earlier, like the longer the game has been going on, the better we get with every minute. And I think he was saying that he believes in us and that he trusts us and. We have to do the same is to believe in ourselves, and, and I think we did that, so that was a good position. You uh, potentially still have some more work to do in this tournament, so, so, so how do you kind of stay sharp uh, knowing that you still have potentially an you know, important game to play? Yeah, obviously the goal is to, to have that game, but now it's not in our hands, so we, can, we have to wait and see, but um, I think it's it's good to kind of take in that loss and and like be a little bit frustrated as part of it, but then once we leave here and once this day is over especially, we have to move on and we have to like look forward and, and see what else we can accomplish in this tournament. I think it's it's going to be really good if we if we play that game on Saturday. Learn from it and then and put it in the record. Exactly. Right, thank you. Now you had a, you've had a great tournament. What what message does that send to your coach in the PWHL, who of course was on the other bench today? What message do you think that sends to her? You know, as you kind of get ready to go back to that team. Um, I mean, hopefully a good one. I, I'm sure that she watched our games as well. And um, I talked to Carla a little bit um, when we uh, crossed paths. And um, she's really positive. She 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 has been the whole year, though. Like, she believes in me. And, and I, I know that she does. And I really appreciate that. And, yeah, I mean, hopefully I can bring something from here to the team in Ottawa. That would be amazing. Thank you. Thank you.